Okay, so I'm gonna make a little tutorial here, just uh, just fairly quick on to how to pull in mods from wherever you want. Nexus mods is fine, uh, but you're gonna need the core tool. I've already downloaded that and extracted it into its own folder in wherever you got Phantom Pain installed, um, and then uh, you're gonna want to uh, find whatever mod you want to grab, and go download that. Um, and uh, usually when uh, you get a mod, you will have to add, uh, this is important, uh, adding in these lines of text into the dictionary text here. Oh, I didn't want to print that. Edit. You can just add it in wherever. I just usually just add it to the top because I can keep track of what I've actually added. Okay. You can add it to the bottom too, but it's a pain. save that. So now it should actually uh, get the proper... now the mod will actually work, yeah. When you actually unpack the files. So then you're going to want to unpack the files that you need to replace. For the head, uh, big boss head replacer I'm replacing here, I'm going to need to unpack chunk 0 and texture 0. You're going to want to make backups of those and just make a new folder modding backup. I just threw some backups in here. And then you're going to want to go and extract chunk zero by dragging it onto the core tool and do the same with texture zero. That right, should just take 15 seconds. Sorry about the noise in the background. It's hot out. So I got the window open, and there's construction outside. Hmm, seems like unpacking the textures takes a little bit longer. Unsurprising, but... So this is taking long. Well, in the meantime, I'll start modding Chunk Zero while that's unpacking. Oh, just finished whatever I can do both now. So you're going to want to open up uh, the files for both Chunk Zero, then uh, drag the new files in, replace them, and then just do the same for Texture Zero. Get all the files. You can shift click to grab them all place files, and then the mod is almost installed at this point. Now you just need the core tool again, and now make sure to uh, grab the setup file, setup information file, it's probably in any file, uh, I don't know what fi file type it is, details, yeah it's an INF file, so make sure to grab these when uh, when uh, re trying to repack the files, but you have to repack these or the mod will not attach itself. You you haven't made the... it won't read the unpacked files. you got to repack the files for the game to be able to read them. And after... Um, after these uh, uh, get repacked, seems to only be doing texture zero files, so I'm going to grab chunk zero too. Yeah, there we go. So once both of these are done, the file should be now applied to the game, and you should be able to launch, and uh, then go check out the files. I'm going to immediately check, just to make sure that what I showed you actually does work. Texture's taking longer, of course. And I just extracted my uh, choir tool into here for just so I don't have to look around for it. Okay, looks like it's done going through all that. So launch the game. See if Big Boss's head actually attached itself. 
Almost in. Okay. Now let's use a uh, a character that isn't that character. Uh, let's do a mission just to just to go into the character select. Snake out and awesome, no horn. And that should be on mm, all the outfits. Uh, maybe not all the outfits. I don't know. It might not have, might not have included the dictionary file. Might not have included all the outfits. So some might be changed, some might not be. Whatever, it's changing the battle dress, and that's kind of what I wanted. Switched on the parasite suit? No, I still got a bum. That's fine. So the battle dress and leather jacket is what actually got changed. Well, the mod works. I just didn't really check exactly what the mod did. Um, Venom, normal, normal scarf, naked, leather suit. Yeah, so it's only these outfits, and, I'm, and I don't use most of them, so that's fine. I can have the normal head on a few outfits. Anyways... That's how you mod the game. You can delete the chunk zero, texture zero, and the setup information files if you want the ones that got selected there. You can delete those and not worry about it if you're save if you want to save on hard drive or SSD space. That but next time.